Here's a small example for the new placer node in Mesh in Maya 2017 update 3. In this scene I have a ground plane and some low resolution plant objects like some trees and some mushrooms and a little grass. I'm going to select all of these in the outline and make sure that they are in the right order because this order here will define the ID of the objects later in the Mesh editor. Then I'm going to create a mesh network and the first thing that's going to happen is that you see the first of these objects which, which is the grass that is multiplied by the distribute node. So we don't need that, that's why I put it back to zero objects. The distribute node can stay there and then I will create the new placer node. With the placer node you get some new kind of user interface, these brushes here and some, some move, rotate, scale functions in the node itself, very much like the waiter node of Mesh. So with these nodes I can now click on the brush and draw on the surface and draw some grass uh, instances actually. So I'm going to undo that. With the brushes here you can lower the brush spacing for example you can lower the brush spacing, for example, so when you draw you get more of these, of these grass uh, instances. And then when I turn on scatter you see that uh, the, these uh, objects will be scattered within the brush radius that I can adjust very much like any other brush in Maya with a B key. You hold the B key and then you can adjust the brush. There's a delete brush that you can use to draw over existing things to delete them. Right, like so, and it will only delete the points when you release the brush. That's a little bit confusing. So let's add some more with a different ID mode. So this is when I when I turn the spacing back up and the scatter off. So this is the grass here. When I go to the next ID, here are some mushrooms, and the next ID are some other mushrooms, and again some chanterelles and so on. You see that all of these mushrooms are green and the grass of course is also green. This comes from the fact that we are using a Mesh Repro node. When you turn this into a, an Instacer node you see that the materials, the per face materials are back. And that is the way to get the per face materials with, with instances. So there are ways of course to turn this into, into geometry later, but if you want to see the materials you need instances in the first uh, instances in the first place. So let's use the delete node or the delete brush to delete all of these. I can use the add brush with, with a random a set of, of IDs. So when I use the random IDs from 0 to 3 I would get you know random instances and of course when I turn on scatter you know I, I can scatter these in the brush radius. You will also see that some of the some of the objects like these ones here are you know colliding massively or you know are even in the same place like these ones here. There is an option to turn on collide but when I use that to draw, you will see that in the second, you know, in the second go, when I draw over that region again, there will be collisions happening because it, ha it could be that this mushroom, for example, tries to avoid to collide with this one here, but gets in contact with the other one. So that's a very simple collision mechanism and a very fast one. There's a strict method that allows you to draw and it will stop drawing when it considers the, the region to be full. So when it says there is no, no way to place any other objects without colliding with anything, then it will stop. And there's also a collide brush that uses um, the existing objects and tries to take them apart. So when you use your brush, you see that they are now you know, walking away from each other. You can make the brush very small and try to edit only single objects. Another brush mechanism when you are in the in the add brush you can hold the shift key to grow things. Just brush over existing objects and they keep growing. When you hold the control key you can shrink them again. So that's a scale down. The amount of scaling or the speed of stick scaling is the brush strength. So when you turn down the brush strength and hold the shift key you see everything is a little bit slower and it's not so, you know, not so fast. 
uh, turn it down and hold control and you can slowly shrink them and scale them down to get the get the desired result when you hold the m key you can play single objects with left and right you have some sort of a scaling and with a with the motion around the object or with a distance from the original point it's it's kind of a scaling when you go around the original point you can rotate the thing which is kind of cool because you can really play single objects exactly and rotate them the way that you want them so let's remove all of these objects here so maybe i make my brush a little bit larger to do all of that and now i want to use the add brush and start drawing some forest so now i'm going to use the ids 4 to 19 because i have 19 objects here and also a different scaling so the scaling should now range from from 5 to 8 and the rotation should be something random from 0 to 360 and now I can draw with the with the forest on the surface when I have the add brush on scatter even scatter I don't I, I don't think I need scatter I can have st uh, strict collision on uh, but I would say you know I'm doing something like this maybe that is too you know the spacing is a little bit too small so let's do some you know draw some forest and you see how that works I jump back to the strict collision here because I can later also use my delete brush to remove single trees if they are too close together that would be another way to to do that so we have some some sort of a little forest and then I could go in and say okay with my IDs from 0 to 3 and a scaling range of 0 0.75 to 1.725 for example i now want to draw with with uh, some mushrooms and again you know depending on the collision settings you can go very close to the trees and draw some some of the stuff here and then even go in and edit these points because that's what the what these move objects here are good for you can select a single um, a single mushroom here and move it around with the move tool or use the rotate tool to rotate the whole thing so I'm selecting this again right you can tilt these for example and scaling of course does what it says you can grab a mushroom and scale it very much up so that is the new placer node that allows you to do some sort of set dressing paint with objects on defined surfaces maybe that is something i need to mention there's a here's a section where you can drop a mesh and say i, I just want to paint on this one so for example if you have an additional mesh here let me quickly create something so if you have this additional sphere here and you go into the add brush and draw with some mushrooms right um, you would see that you can also draw on the regular surface but as soon as you drop this sphere into the paint meshes you can now draw on the sphere but no longer on the on the plane because the plane is no longer part of this drawing environment of the of the placer node so that was a very simple example of the placer node very useful for set dressing and of course to make an initial state for your for your mesh animation